Here's a question I see all the time. When should I start fertilizing my seedlings? So I'm assuming you're starting seeds indoors and you're growing these little seedlings under lights. When is the best time to fertilize them? I'm going to break this video down into several parts. You know, I'm going to have a look at seedlings and try to understand when do they need nutrients. I'm going to have a look at a couple products to give you an idea of what kind of fertilizer might be in those products. And I'm going to give you their recommendations for fertilizing. I'm going to discuss some advice I see all the time. When you're fertilizing seedlings, use one half strength of what you normally use for other plants. Does that really make sense? And then I'm going to tell you what I do with my seedlings. At the end of the video, I'll give you a link to another video where I describe a number of mistakes made when people grow seedlings. All right, so when should you start fertilizing? Well, before we can answer that, let's understand seedlings. In this pot, I have some pepper seedlings. They sprouted about a week ago, and they have two leaves here. Now, these are what we call cotyledon leaves. They're not true leaves yet. The cotyledon leaves are produced from the food that's stored inside the seed. So when the seed germinates, it makes a root and it makes a shoot and the shoot forms these cotyledon leaves. Now I'm waiting for it to grow a little more to make true leaves. This is a seedling of a castor bean. Now it germinated about two weeks ago and these large leaves here are the cotyledon leaves, right? They came from inside the seed. And you can see that the first true leaves are starting to form. There's no food left in that seed. It's all used up for these cotyledon leaves. So now the plant has to go out and find nutrients to grow these true leaves. This is a critical point in the growth of a seedling. And it's at this stage that the plant has to go out and find nutrients in the soil. So does that mean we should start fertilizing now? Well, that depends a lot on the product that you're using. Some of these mixes come with fertilizer in them, and, and others have no fertilizer. The product I use for starting seeds is Promix BX. It comes in large bales, and when I look at the technical specifications, it says that it contains enough fertilizer for the first seven days. After that, they recommend that you fertilize on a regular basis. Now, just because you're using a Promix product doesn't mean you can follow that advice. Promix also has smaller bags of something they call a seed starter mix, and that has more fertilizer in it, and it's supposed to be good for three months. So the actual brand and product that you're using has different amounts of fertilizer in it. I also looked up one of the common seed starting mixes from miracle Grow. Now, I don't know how much fertilizer is in this. On the package, it says the MPK is a 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03. But in the specifications, it says it's a 0 0.010. 0. Seems like the manufacturer doesn't even know how much fertilizer they put in it. And I couldn't find any recommendations as to when you should start fertilizing. So here's an important point. So if you go online and see someone asking the question, when should I fertilize my seedling? The answer is meaningless unless you know the specific product that they're talking about. Now some common advice says, when you fertilize seedlings, only use half the strength that you use on other plants. Now that never made any sense to me because in nature, when a seed falls to the ground, it germinates and it grows in exactly the same soil as the mother plant. They get the same nutrients. Seedlings don't get less fertilizer or less nutrients than the mother plant. So why is it that when we're growing in pots, we feed them less? Now, I looked online to see what the experts advise, and many do say use the quarter strength, but I couldn't find any scientific studies to support that idea. So what do I do? Well, I don't believe that you should be using a half strength when you're fertilizing seedlings. I use the same fertilizer for seedlings as I do for all my other plants. And there are a couple reasons for that. One is, I find the seedlings grow well with regular strength fertilizer. The second reason is that I'm lazy. I have one pail of water with fertilizer in it and I use it for everything. Seedlings, 
my house plants, my orchids, they all get the same fertilizer. I don't want to make up a special pail just for seedlings. So they get what the mother plants get and it seems to work. Now when should you start fertilizing? Well as I said, the first leaves that come out are the cotyledon leaves and the nutrients for those come from the seed. So it doesn't need to be fertilized while it's forming those. It also doesn't need to be fertilized while it's germinating. But as soon as these true leaves start to grow, you need to provide nutrients. Now I have a problem with all these soilless mixes. My guess is that the amount of fertilizer in them is very small. So I don't trust them. I start fertilizing as soon as these leaves start to grow. I want to make sure that my plant has enough nutrients to grow properly. I'm not going to wait a week or two months because the manufacturer says I don't have to fertilize. I'd rather fertilize and make sure my plant's getting enough nutrients. And that works well for me. Bottom line, as soon as they start to grow leaves, fertilize. Use the same fertilizer you use for all your other house plants. Seedlings are really no different. If you want to find out some more mistakes that beginner growers make, I'm going to put a link to a video right here that will go through a whole series of mistakes and it's going to save you time and money and help you grow better seedlings. See you in my next video.